You are now live. Right, ready the name of the recipe. Ah, de novo não. Como é que eu faço aqui, Santo Deus? Hello, mom. Hello, and the cuisine. How are you? How are you doing on this sunny Sunday? Well, I don't know in Brazil, <laughs> but here it's quite sunny. We wait a little bit more and then we start. Olá, é verdade, eu esqueço que você fala português. Ah, então estamos só no, no português por enquanto. <risos> Olá, Dad. Olá, Diego. Por enquanto, sem hello, só olá. <risos> Diego, acho que eu vou fazer uma carteirinha de pontos de fidelidade para você. Sempre presente. Sally. Eu tá? O que, que é isso, pai? Eu tá. Ah, eu também falo português, eu sei, pai. Oi, Gabi. Olá, Golden Boy! Por enquanto, só temos brasileiros e portugueses aqui. Interessante. Olá, Ana! Pontos resgatáveis em granola, exatamente! <risos> Será que hoje vai ser uma live em português? Será? 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 Hoje eu vou fazer uma Caesar Salad, mas vegana, claro, então sem ovo, sem anchovas, mas a gente vai ver o que a gente vai usar no lugar. E com a original, na verdade, não tem frango, né? Mas muitas ultimamente tem, então eu vou fazer um crispy cauliflower. Crocante, é, come flor crocante, é até difícil pensar. Por que não? <risos> Sem queijo, exatamente. Hello, Amberlot. How are you? Without chicken, exactly. Sem frango. <risos> Completely different, but I want still to call a Caesar salad. We wait two more minutes and then we start. Ah, I think now Portuguese is already gone. We have one Amberlote, I guess she's not Brazilian or Portuguese, but I'm not sure. If she is, then we switch again to Portuguese. Waiting a little bit longer and then we start. One minute, one minute. Today I decided to make, hello Scott Wilson, hello Bex, I was waiting for you because I need to ask what did you have for lunch with a very special answer today. <laughs> I have no idea what you have. I'm good, I'm good. We are making a simple but not so simple because it's true that some people say that I like to complicate recipes. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know if I agree, but today it's a little bit more complicated than just a salad. Hello, Nadia Mari Mariana. <laughs> Hello, Nadia. How are you? We started the live in Portuguese, uh, Nadia, but now we have, I think, four people English speaking. So I switch it to, to English. So 
Oh, five minutes. We shared veggie mezzi. Oh, that's nice. Kopchen veggie burger and the mezzi plate and the unbelievable molle chocolat. That what I knew. <laughs> so, we start. I don't know why I took the bowl because we don't need it for the moment. But, well, as you saw already by the title, we are making a Caesar salad, but with marinola twists. Hello, Sandy. How are you? And to start, I will start with my cheese. Actually, what we are making for this cheese is not really a cheese, of course. It's just to give this crumbly, salty sensation. So what we need for that is Brazil nuts that I just need to quickly um, grind it. So, one second. Good, good, I'm good. it's done yes it's done and then I use a coffee grinder because of the small quantities but of course that you can use um, mortar or you can just chop them with your hands the advantage of using a small food processor or coffee grinder is because it becomes this paste you see because Brazil nuts have a lot a lot of fat content uh, so they easily become a paste without not really like a nut butter but more pasty feeling Look, Deborah, amazing Western food and host. Oh, I'm glad. If you would not have treated you good, he would be in trouble tonight. Um, so I use the, the <laughs> Koption is the best. Okay, I have a few fans. <laughs> um, I use a, it becomes kind of a paste, you see, but still firm, flourly paste. Quite because we need to incorporate that in the rest of our cheese recipe. This adds a little bit of a hearty, fatty content to our cheese because the rest is a surprise ingredient. That is not tofu, it's not cashews. By the way, I know I use cashews today. Mm. Almost I thought that maybe I would be able to say that I would not use cashews. People already talk about, I will already talk about Wednesday. Wednesday is a Brazilian party. So we will make a Brazilian recipe. I will not even ask your opinion because I want to talk about this Brazilian party. So here I have my kind of Brazil nut paste. If you don't have Brazil nuts, you can also use other kind of nuts. Cashews work. Uh, macadamias are really great for this recipe also. But well, I have um, Brazil nuts, so Brazil nut it is. And then here, my secret ingredient, it's quinoa. And I have cooked quinoa, you see? Really cooked quinoa. I'm not, with Brazilian party, so wrong. Of course, Festa Junina, so we have a team. How can Brazilians ask me that? What kind of Brazilian are you, Ana? So here I have the quinoa. And the, the Brazil nuts. Hello, Natalie. So I will mix both here. And then it comes what will add flavor to my cheese. So I have here nutritional yeast. Then I go slow. And miso powder, miso paste, sorry. I have two colors of miso here, but use whatever you have it at home. If you only have the dark one, go for the, I think it came, <coughs> nutritional yeast powder came to my mouth. Um, if you only have uh, the light one, go for the light one. I have both. I will use both. I really got inhale here some nutritional yeast. And salt, of course. Even though the miso is already salty, I want something really extra salted, like cheese, right? So now with my hands, also you could use a food processor, but in this case, I want to keep the grains of quinoa. You could also use uh, flaked quinoa. You can also use uh, um, oats, but not the whole oats, you know, the more, um, the, the, the small ones. Um, what else you could use instead of this uh, thing? I think oats are a good substitution if you don't have quinoa. 
I have to confess that I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of quinoa, so it's not something that I always have it in the house unless I will make specific things. Uh, when I use quinoa, I like to use it for things that have a lot, a lot of flavor because I think the flavor of quinoa itself, it's bland. It's, it's nothing special. Hello, Hafa. Uh, tell me if you are a big fan of quinoa because I think that quinoa, the grain by itself, it's really overrated for taste taste wise and I don't really see the the point so now just to finish here our cheese some olive oil yes I got a new bottle because I thought it was pretty I buy things by the label and I have to confess the olive oil inside is not even that great but now I use it I eat it because it's healthy, but yes, it's a flavorless with molly compay. I love it. Uh, yeah, I'm not, not in love with it, I have to say. I, I prefer rice, mie. I love mie. Uh, mie, millet. I always have trouble to speak this uh, grain, to talk about this grain in English. I don't really know. In French, I know it's mie. Really? I have I, I eat it for a long time, but I'm not a big fan when it's bland like this. I always need to flavor with a lot of stuff. Hello, Barbara Cunhada. Mm. I'll add a tiny bit more here of the miso. And then it became this paste, but we don't want the paste. So what do we do now? I turn on my oven. I don't get used, I really don't get used that Matt is not here to turn on the oven for me. It's a bit frustrating, but well, what, it's what I have. So I will transfer this here to my baking tray. And with my hands, I will spread around. Yes, it has to be used in the delicious recipe, yeah. Because you know, rice, uh, some sorts of rice, not all sorts of rice, to be honest, I could eat it by itself. But quinoa, not really. And sometimes I get frustrated when people say quinoa salad, because I think there is too much quinoa on the salad. Of course, it's a quinoa salad, right? But I think I'm, not, I think I'm really not a big fan of quinoa. Although I'm cooking with it, and then I like it. When I use in strong flavor recipes. Hello, Vento is here saying hi. Oh, oh, I'm more that chia. My nephew is watching, so I have to talk to him. So oven is heating up, and then we will attack our Caesar dressing because that is important also. And for that, we need a blender. What else do we need? We need cashews because I thought I would be able to say that I was not going to use cashews in this recipe, but no, not really. Then I soak it here some cashews and add in to my blender. And now it comes a secret ingredient to this recipe that I think some of you already know, but probably not all of you. What else do I use here to add this creaminess, eggy taste that a Caesar salad has in the dressing? Can you imagine? It's cauliflower, it's steamed cauliflower. And this I took really the pieces that were left there because we still use cauliflower for something else. And I just steam it and blend it with the cashews. <laughs> tofu, no, no tofu today. How long did you say soak them for? I soak it uh, since a few hours. Uh, I normally I have it. Uh, I soak it overnight, but when I don't have the time, one hour is enough. Black salt, of course. That's a good one. You learn already. Black salt, it is. Then we need to add some mustard also. Yes, Bex. I thought that you would know that. 
just the difference when I make mayo, vegan mayo, I use cauliflower also, and I use only cauliflower and olive oil, and then the seasoning. But for this dressing, I prefer to use also a little bit of cashews because you add with the cheesy flavor to incorporate and also it's more creamy. So it remembers, you know, a lot of Caesar salads, although the original one doesn't have a cream, a lot of Caesar salads have a little bit of creamy texture. Yes, you are. So then mustard. And I remember that I have to buy more mustard. Olive oil, of course. And this one, it will take a little bit of time. Oh, I have no patience when, when it doesn't come out. Okay. And then what we need, we need water. Because we don't need, as we have cashews and cauliflower that help to make it creamy, we don't need to add only olive oil, we can make it a little bit lighter. So we cover with water, a pinch of normal salt, and then, ah, we have also, of course, lemon juice. How could I not use lemon juice for this recipe? By the way, I made some research. I changed things here in my kitchen. I will open this drawer nonstop because I think my cut release is still here, but it's not, so I'm sorry for that. Um, talking about the history of Caesar salad, where is it from? Can someone tell? Some lemon juice. You know, Anna, when I got it, I thought immediately you would say that. Ah, oh, no, I hate when I do that. I open my fingers. Oh, no, where are you? I have to rescue him. The seeds, I hate when I do that. Did I do that? No, I don't think so. I hope not. California, Italy, Greece. Yes, I think when we talk about Caesar salad, people imagine that it comes from somewhere, you know, Caesarian. <laughs> but no, it, it's actually from Mexico. An Italian descendant in Mexico in the 20s created this recipe. Um, and then it became really famous between Americans because he created for a restaurant that was meant for Americans uh, in the time of the prohibition in the States. Yes, so blender time, as you know already. So one second and I come back. okay it will do the work it will just be a bit more messy and then I adjust later because today I am in the cleaning mood so now oh, I open the drawer again it will take time until I get used to it so now we have here our sauce I just have to taste it to see the salt and acidity is adjusted perfect and then, where is the anchovies, Marina? We were talking about it. So, then we have two ways of making this sauce. For the ones that like that the flavor of the anchovy is really well mixed, you can blend in the secret ingredient. Otherwise, you can chop it and mix it in the sauce. I am crazy about this option, so I will do it like this. But feel free, if you like it, mix it in the sauce to just mix. And now you will see how creamy it is, this sauce. And when I make it for mayo, I even let more thick, but also this will get thicker if you let it in the fridge. So if you make it in advance, always make it a little bit more liquid than what you imagine to be in there, because it will, I open again. And so it will continue until the end of this life. 
I will open this drawer non-stop. Yes, I like to have little pieces on it. I think the flavor, I don't know, I love texture, so yeah. I love that it's one podcast that I hear, that I listen to, and she always asks to people if they're kind of a crunchy or smooth people. And I love this question. I think you can tell so much about someone. So here now my um, sauce and then my capers that are my tiny anchovies and you could use the big ones but be aware that the big ones they are less salty and more sweet so you will probably need to adjust a little bit salt and all the stuff. Then here I just chop my anchovies. Hello, I travel, you travel. How are you? And then of course, I, I use it a lot because I like the fishy taste. By the way, something interesting. Although we always associate uh, Caesar salad, I think to this, the strong anchovies taste in the sauce, original recipe doesn't have it the first caesar salad created this one in mexico didn't take um anchovies only worcester that is the sauce that i always have trouble to talk to say it also worcester's sauce yes now anchovies inside my sauce mixing well to incorporate i have a little bit more here but i'm not sure if i would need to use it so taste it before i could use it okay Side. I'm in a, a, a um, capers phase. I don't know why I'm really in a capers phase. I like it a lot lately. I think it's in, it's in this Italian mood that I am right now for food. Summer Italian. Hello, Claire. So mix it well here. We have our sauce, but I will put it in the fridge. You think? No. I don't think, I'm not even that good with a knife. I will put it in the fridge to settle down a little bit. I have a question for you people. Do you have one ingredient that one is missing or it's about to go to miss at home? You just panic? Or oh, this is only with me that happens? one ingredient that you always have to have it at home you have that hello cecilia happy birthday where is my little friend then now we are doing our lemon maybe onion onions wine <laughs> Lemons. Okay, so I'm not the only lemon crazy person. That's good because I'm, I go to the supermarket just for lemons if I think they're about to go uh, to run out. So here what I have, I have chickpea flour and water. And then you're probably wondering, Marina, what are you doing with this? In, this is a Caesar salad, please. But that is for our chicken or our cauliflower kind of crispy chickens. Okay, I like the list. I like the list. It's pretty much like mine. Herbe de Provence. Okay, this one, I think I, I don't even have it at home. I have the herbs that compose the Herbe de Provence, but the mix I don't have. So, I have here the chickpea flour that I will mix with the same quantity of water. Okay. 
mixing with a fouet basically mustard and cinnamon ah cinnamon you have always at home right i i guess cinnamon is a favorite that i could guess vanilla also i think could be a favorite of yours mustard i sometimes i go out run out and i don't realize but lemons for me are a big thing onions also garlic i can live without although i like it a lot oops making a mess of course salad and bread yes bread is something that we always have at home also it can be such an easy meal oops making a mess continues hello Isadora Clara a little bit more okay and now what I need to add to my mix here is salt much just a pinch today I'm extremely more than usual messy because you know when you start to organize your cupboards first you but you make a bigger mess in your room right so my kitchen everything is everywhere it's just a bit insane let me check here the quinoa cheese going well so now also for our chicken our crunchy chicken in our Caesar salad a food processor and corn flakes and you probably already saw me doing this because I did in the recipe of the katsu curry where I made this with the eggplant so now we'll make with our chicken cauliflower I will just place the corn flakes in a food processor and when I make the katsu curry, the crunchy one, I told you that you could just crush it with your hands also if you like to have bigger pieces. But in this case, I really recommend that you uh, grind it to a fine powder with a little bit of pieces, but more fine because the pieces are smaller, so it will coat better. sure I can help you open a bottle of wine I'm an expert uh, you could help me opening a bottle of wine that's true that that you know how to do in the kitchen that is true not necessarily in the kitchen so uh, here I have a fine powder you see and although I'm using corn flakes uh, and sugar and salted to plain I don't recommend that you use uh, polenta or corn flour to it because it will not be pre-cooked so it will not make the, the same feeling Talking about salad, one idea to future life is panzanella. Simple but delicious. True, absolutely. So simple, so delicious. It's one of my favorites. Good idea, Diego. By the way, you have a lot of good ideas. Laetitia, sorry, I cannot pronounce your name, but hello, how are you? So here I have then my crumble. And then now we'll start with our chicken. I will just check here for our parmesan, not par yeah, I will parmesan. I would take you to a tour, but the truth is that I'm ashamed of my kitchen, so I cannot take you. Here is our cheese kind of things. I'm really daring to touch that with my hands. So you just mix it from time to time. because you want loose flakes so after it's really distributed in the salad as you see it's not so much well it looks a lot now but you will see in the end that this is not like a quinoa salad this is more for really the crunchy flavor then oven again 
and now we will start with our chicken and then for that what I have here I'm trying to organize stuff but I'm a little bit like let it go let it go I have one big steak of cauliflower and you could do it like this or I'm I was really brave today I'm wearing white in the kitchen I'm I'm just proud of myself that I didn't stain myself so well okay and, or little bites of chicken which one do you prefer it's your choice why I'm making both because I want to choose what the one which one looks better in the picture after uh, so I will use both and you have here I have little pieces of cauliflower what did I do to this cauliflower? I steamed them for just five minutes before, uh, just enough that they are a little bit tender, but they still have a bite in the stalks, you know, because I don't want them to be, now this next step, it will be quite fast in the oven, and I don't want them to be undercooked inside, but I also don't want that they steam for too long and then they are really soft inside. This is the same. You see that it starts to be flexible, but here it's quite firm still. So I'll set aside this one and I will do the small ones. Then what do we do? Let me see if I can adjust you here. Yeah, it will do fine. I will be fine. Okay. So I first dip it in the batter here. You could use a fork. Yes, you could. Is less messy? Yes, it is. Is it as fun? No, it's not. Messy kitchen is always the best. Then you coat it in the second thing with the cornflakes. You see, all coated, can you see it? Yes. Then you place it in your tray. When I did the katsu, I did it in the pan to fry it after, to grill it. But now I want to do it in the oven. Why? Because the katsu, the one I did with the eggplant, is a slice, so it's really easy to grill with just a little bit of olive oil without adding too much oil, and it's it will do it. The thing is, uh, with this bites of uh, with pieces, it's small pieces. It will be really hard unless you add a lot, a lot of oil, and I don't like that. So I do it in the oven, high temperature, so I just create a crust on it. And like this we go and this step I could not have made it in advance because better fresh although it's true that if you put it in the oven again it will go crunchy but it's true that the cauliflower inside will be every time a little bit more cooked so I prefer fresh so no magic today but it's a salad, there is no need for magic. Can you tell me again what is the liquid you are dipping them in? Yes, it's chickpea flour with the same quantity of uh, water just to create like a batter. And you, what trick is also if you like it to have really, really crispy, you can also use a sparkling water. I forgot to tell you that. It's a really good trick. I didn't have sparkling water at the moment at home, uh, but it, it's nice to make it crunchy, extra crunchy. Then chickpea flour, water, and a bit of salt. Just to guarantee that we have a tiny bit of salt, but not too much. And the cornflakes. So I don't think I will need to do them all, but I will do probably a little bit more than what I actually need just because you know you never know some might burn and this is also great just by its, its own you know with the spicy sauce that can be really nice you know like wings like people like uh, to have nuggets why not having cauliflower nuggets so basically I'm giving you uh, two three recipes in one parmesan cheese Talking about Messi, where is Matty? Even if I, if he's working right now, he could at least join the live for a few minutes. Uh, yes, not really, because he's working in the service, so he cannot, otherwise people complain that the owner of the restaurant, instead of talking to people, is on the phone. <laughs> 
Well, and I know, you know how I know that the restaurant is calm when he joins the live, but that happens rarely, thanks God. But it's how I know if uh, eh, people didn't go today. But when it's sunny, people go. Terrace is big. You and Gabby have to come once, Diego. I'm waiting. With Leon, it's, it's really child friendly. My house is also child friendly, I think. Maybe I find out that it's not, but I think it is. So, okay, now I think I have enough. Did you, were you in the terrace, um, Bex, in the outside, the new one? So, now I have my little wings here. I will increase the temperature of my oven. My cover is behind. Just wait a second to put it in the oven. Yes, when it appears, we will plan this vacation. Yes! It's nice. You will like it. There is a lot of wine. There is a lot of food. Ah, uh, that's nice. So now I did, I did this step and another tip that I need to give it to you is um, not to let it sit for too long before you put it in the oven. Ah, another tip also that I was going to forget to do it because you know I'm concentrating on talking, um, it drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top, just because as we are oven dry, you know, it's oven baking, we want still that has some crunch in it, not to... I said that it's messy the kitchen, I want. We want to have the crunchy and not only the dryness from the oven. So a little bit of olive oil gives more this feeling of, you know, fried, it's always necessary. Ah, this is a nice question that I have for you because I, I never know. Do you have an air fryer at home? This is a machine that I don't really understand, but I know a lot of people like it. So let me know. Do you have an air fryer at home? Do you use it if you have it? Me a massage tonight after he moved the umbrella for us today. <laughs> uh, massage Matty? No, no. I don't think he... He will complain about his back, I'm pretty sure, because he does that every Monday. But no, no massage. I'm the only one getting massage in this house. Yes, I don't, I'm not ashamed to say that I, I'm spoiled. So just put it in the oven. High temperature. No air fryer for me. I don't get at this machine, right, Claire? Yes, you have one, mom. I didn't know you had one. I had no idea, but it's okay. I have no idea of a lot of stuff. So the steak, the big one, I didn't do it because as I told you, it will be more for the pictures so I can do it after. Um, what do I have now? I have my kale here and I'm not using any kale, I'm using cavallo nero. I just took the stalks out. You know cavallo nero, right? The long leaves. We have one, but we don't get it either. Yes, I don't understand. In my opinion, because it's, um, it's promising to fry without oil, it makes a dry crust. It doesn't make a crunchy crust. And that's why I like to always to add olive oil when I roast stuff, to make the same feeling of crunchy and not dry. Great dust accumulator. There is a, we always have machines like this in the kitchen, right? I got rid of my old dust accumulator. <laughs> exactly, I love that. Um, I got to read a lot of machines that I didn't use it before. So now what I do, I chop my kale here and then we will start with the massage time. Oh yeah, Matty doesn't get a massage, but my kale does. That's the importance that you give to people. Okay, 
And I like Cavalo Nero better than the traditional Keio. Uh, or in Brazil, our normal Kovi is also good. But I like it better, Cavalo Nero, because it's the, um, the leaves, they are thinner, they are not so hard fiber. I have a lot of trouble to digest the normal kale. I find that it's so chewy, so fibery. I don't know, for me, not the best. Oh, the sauce. So I have here the sauce now. I want to add here a little bit Frying <laughs> without oil is like loving without kissing. <laughs> Hello, Hena Foro. You need a little oil for the massage too. Exactly, we need a little oil and a little acidity because you know, life doesn't have any flavor without acidity. So I like to add acidity. Also, it helps to cook somehow my kale. So oil here and then massage salt is also really good and of course i forgot my salt because when i don't forget my salt i always forget it and remember once my fingers are already dirty so now massage time and i find it amazing how when you look at your bunch of k you think oh i have a lot and then you start massaging it and you realize that is not so much I just realized that maybe this will not do one salad, but it's okay because after I hang up with you, I do more and then I take a nice picture. <laughs> Hello, Bruca Ribeiro. How are you? So now my kale is well massaged. I can see it by the volume that it has now. But anyway, I will give it a taste just to check. Mm -hmm. It's true, Diego. You're also A plus student. Um, true, mushrooms are also a great option. I even thought about adding the bacon, um, making a bacon for it, but I decided to keep it a little bit simpler this time, but it's a great option, it's true. The mushroom kind of bacon. So now, setting here aside, and I will show you here the Parmesan. I know it looks darker than a normal Parmesan, but I assure you the taste is amazing. And you see that now it became really like a crumble. That's exactly what we want. So I just gather everything, transfer here to a bowl. And another thing that you can add to the salad if you like to have some crunchy, because I know a lot of salads have the croutons, a lot of um, Caesars, well, the basic Caesar has a crouton. I don't find it necessary because we have this crumble and the cauliflower crunchies will also have a crunch. But if you like it, you can also roast some chickpeas and add it on top instead of croutons. It's also a great option. Basically, what I'm making today is what I feel like eating in a summer day like today. It's basically that. Because sometimes I think I also. <laughs> so, hello, Jilshen. I will just wait for our cauliflower chicken wings there, and then we finish our salad. I will check here which plate I will use. Not sure. Not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter because I will take pictures in another one. Hello, Kachita. So I will take this one, this simple one today. And we'll wait just a few more seconds. 
So, on Wednesday is São João party in Brazil. Uh, well, it's not a party on Wednesday, but it's the celebration of Saint John. Um, in Brazil, I think there is different dates for celebration of this saint around the world, and it's a big deal in Brazil. Uh, and it's one of these parties that is all about the food. Forget, I don't. It doesn't matter which religion you are. You love Saint John parties. You love it. So on Wednesday, what we are going to make is specialities from these holidays because I think it's worth trying and it's unusual stuff that I think people don't know here. In Cap Vert too, yes, and what do you eat in Cap Vert for Saint Jean? I want to know if it's the same. We eat a lot of corn, a lot of corn, everything with corn. Uh, we eat sausages, uh, caldo virgin. What else do we eat for Saint Jean? Help me there, Diego, I'm sure you can help me. Uh, arroz doce, that is a kind of a, uh, uh, or arroz de leite, that is a kind of rice pudding. What else do we eat? We eat so many stuff. It's like one of these parties that you cannot believe how much food you have it in the end. We have churros, but I think this is recent. <laughs> Carrot cakes, ah, bolo de fubá, which is a corn thing. Um, what else? We have a lot, a lot of food, crazy. Canjica, yes. Ah, peanut, pasoca, yes, pasoca. Pasoca is one of the recipes that I really want to do. Pamonha, one of my favorites. Quentão. Quentão is basically our way of calling blue vine and we drink it in this party in São João. Because right now in Brazil it's winter. So what I will do is I will adapt the recipes that I will make to our summertime here in Luxembourg. Because I think it will be nice for the Brazilians because Brazilian winter is not so rigorous. And it's also nice for us that it's, are enjoying these warm days here. Pinhão! Pinhão is an amazing thing that we just find it in Brazil and some other few countries. I read that in New Zealand also. So I have this question to make to Bex. Bex, do you have it uh, in New Zealand? Do you have a pine nut that is actually chewy and it's big like that? I can tell for sure, but feijoada, cachupa, any kind of food, surely a lot of food, see. A lot of seafood, really? Ah, we don't have seafood for uh, a hell. So wrong. Pula fugere, I can't wait for your life, so wrong, yes. And I will try to dress according. Then can can turn into sangria, but yeah, that's true. Ararukaya pine nut, yes. I heard that New Zealand has it also, but I was really intrigued because I thought it was something really South American. But it's so good. Let me check the, um, our wings. Two more minutes. Now that I know, maybe Scott knows. Scott, help us. I'll send you after a picture back and then you tell me. I don't know why they don't sell this here in, in Europe because it's just amazing. It's so good. It tastes more like a chestnut. It's just so good. It's one of my favorites. But it's a really, I normally I buy it and I bring it frozen. Yes, I bring food in my bag. I always say that, but people, please don't think, don't judge me, don't judge me. So yes, on Wednesday we will have a special San Juan uh, kind of live. And it's funny because we dress like countryside people, but a kind of countryside people that I think it doesn't even exist in Brazil because it's, um, we put the hair, like the girls have to have the hair like this, I don't know, with braids, a lot of dots, freckles in the face. I don't know why freckles, because we don't have freckles. And I can paint my, te my teeth black also, but I don't think I would do that because I would be too nervous. Caipira, <laughs> exactly. Olá, Teca de Bom. Hello. So one more minute and I take our wings from the, from the oven. If you like it to spice things up and to add a more different touch to this uh, salad, you can also add uh, paprika, uh, smoke, uh, not smoked paprika, paprika, spicy paprika. But I like it plain, but it's true that it's, it's good, especially on the wings, it's quite good. But I find it so good, the flavors of the capers inside. 
Sounds more like America country to me. <laughs> exactly, so weird. You also eat a lot of these caramelized apples in these things. It's basically like a Schoberfauer, but in uh, neighborhoods. It's like a, a mix between Fête de Voisin and uh, Schoberfauer. By the way, for the non Luxembourgish, I can take the wings out, but I will explain what Schoberfauer is. So we have our wings here. Uh, Schoberfauer is like um, a kermes, like a festival in Saint-Jean, but huge in Luxembourg. And it happened since 800. I don't know, it's really long, more than a thousand years, I think, that it happens, this party. And this year is the first one without a war that will not happen because of Covid. So, Massa de l'Amour, exactly, the caramelized apple. So here we have our wings, and I hope you can hear. Can you hear how crunchy it is? It is quite crunchy. I could have a bite, yes I could, but you know what will happen if I have a bite? I'll burn myself. Hello, Jana Schmidt. So I will rush now to finish the salad. Pablo is here to say hello. Hello, hello people. Say hello to people, Pablo. The sun starts to come in, so I'll just... So you can see, let me see. Now it's, it's fast. Why I didn't massage the kale with my sauce? Because if you massage the kale with your sauce, it will make a liquidy thing and I don't want that. It will release a kind of a liquid under, you know, so I prefer to do it like this. So now adding the sauce and I sure have not enough kale, but it's okay. I will make more after. Then now, yes, I use my hands. I like it. And I'll have to use a really small plate. What will have as a small plate here? Yes, I will use this one because it's a small one. Adding more. Now I'm not using my hands for reasons of I don't want to wash anymore. My hands. And then I really don't save on the sauce, really like a, a scissor is not, it, it has to be creamy, right? I really have a starter portion here, but it's okay. No, but I could have done it there. I'm a bit weird today, not only today, I know that, but keep it quiet, keep it for yourself if you think that. No, I will not make any more plate dirt. No, Marina, no, control, control, self-control, Marina. Now, the Parmesan cheese, really on top like this and now our crispy cauliflower and i really hope you can hear because it gets really crispy but i don't think you can hear and then you can do it like this you know i changed my mind i just changed my mind i have time i will change my mind you know what i also like to do you incorporate everything Lots of sauce, lots of sauce. Why I'm doing that? Because I want a big volume, because I don't like to take pictures of small volumes. Then I need really tiny plates and it's not nice. Improvising here, people, improvising. That's real life. I have friends that ask me that they want to see the um, what I, my, what I eat in a day, okay, this is really not a nice plating, but you will see in the pictures after I make some effort to make it nice. I have a friend that always asks, I want to see you eating, what I eat in a day, and I say, that is so ugly, because you know, I don't take pictures, so it's really ugly. 
Do you plate your food nicely or you just, just go with it? Just toss everything in their plate and that's it. So now more of the parmesan. And now I have it, finally. So here it's my salad with my wings, my chicken. And I will cut with you here to show you how it is inside. You see, it's really crunchy crust here. You see, eat directly from the pan. I do. I doubt it. You, Diego, no, you don't convince me with this one. It depends, but I do like to make an effort. Yeah. Hmm. I really recommend you to try this one. It's really good, really summery. It's really delicious. Oh, another substitution if you want to make it at home and you don't have cornflakes, you can use other kind of flakes, uh, like spelt flakes and stuff like this. But I have to say that the corn taste fits really well with the Caesar. But you could also do it like Diego said with the mushroom bacon or other stuff, you know, the, the crunchy chickpeas on the top but try this sauce and once at least try this cauliflower wings they're really amazing really delicious so i think we are coming to an end people i really love making that it's so funny because i really like here i tell my it's almost like i have friends over which by the way i think i can now i don't know why i didn't start my social life yet <laughs> so uh, by the way this is a good question did you start with your social life already or like you are still slow on it. I'm completely slow on it. So people, thank you for joining. I hope you liked it. Don't look at my mess here. I'll take a picture of the kitchen once it's clean. <laughs> I'll do a before and after the kitchen for you to see what I have to do still today. And I'll enjoy my salad here and I hope to see you on Wednesday. Never had one. <laughs> and I see you on Wednesday for our party, our virtual party with lots of food. Thank you so much for joining. I love this time with you. Bye bye. Have a nice evening.